Okay, some of you have really been wanting me to do cinnamon rolls, so today is the day. I'm going to go put a quarter cup of warm water in this measuring cup, and then we're going to dissolve a package of yeast in it for five minutes and let it set. So I've got a quarter cup of water. I'm going to add my yeast. And we're going to let that sit there for five minutes. We're going to need a cup of warm milk. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for one minute. Now, while we're waiting on that, we're going to use the mixer. I'm going to put in a dough hook. And we're going to add three cups of flour. It's two cups. Three cups. All right, your milk doesn't have to be hot. It just has to be lukewarm. It's plenty warm. I didn't quite let it go the whole minute, y'all. But by the time our, our timer goes off in three minutes, this will cool down a little bit. And then we're going to add everything into the flour, and we're going to mix it up really well. We are going to blend our flour. I'm going to put in the milk and the yeast. Make sure you get it all in there. Make sure it's mixed up. It's not clinging to the bowl. We're going to blend this with the dough hood. I'm going to set the timer so we can tell about how long. I'm going to blend it pretty good, y'all, so I'm probably going to blend it about four minutes because we want to make sure that yeast gets in that bread and disperses throughout all the flour evenly or it's not going to do a good job. So I'm going to um, leave this in here five good minutes. All right, it's been five minutes, so let's get this out of here. What we're going to do is take our batter bowl. I'm going to put some oil in it. It's probably close to an eighth of a cup. And I'm going to put the oil all around the edges of the batter bowl. And then I'm going to take the dough off the hook. Place it in our batter bowl. I'm going to roll it around and let it get oil all over it. And then we're going to put it in a warm place until it doubles in size. You can't, I can't give you a time because everybody's is different. I'm actually going to put my, today it's about 80 something degrees outside. I will put a wet towel over the top of it and put it out on the porch. And then I will let y'all know how long mine took when it's about 80 something degrees outside. All right, y'all, our dough has doubled in size. So we're going to punch it down. We're going to add it to the mixer. sugar to it. Two 
eggs. Room temperature eggs. salt. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to get out our bread flour and we're going to add three quarter cup of flour to it. This is an eight. My quarter is dirty. start adding the remaining flour. Okay, we got to add three quarters more cups of flour. I'm going to do them in eight cups. Because we, we got to add them slowly. Once each eighth cup has blended, then we'll add the next one. this for about five minutes so I'll come back when it's done all right while that's finishing up we're gonna melt the stick of butter in the microwave in this measuring cup cinnamon mixture. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Uh oh It's good and sticky, like it should be. With this butter, we're going to add the sugar. Now I'm going to put in a half teaspoon of vanilla extract or a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Just kind of dust the surface of this. Why were my hands real good? Pick up our dough. And I don't have to knead it because the mixer's already done it for me. Okay? So now all I'm going to do is roll it out. Simple dimple. I 
Oh, I need to flour this. What am I thinking? Just use your hand and flour it. Good. You don't want it to get too much on it. One way you know if you've kneaded it enough is if you put your finger in it and it springs back. It's doing that. knife it needs to be serrated I'm going to pull this out a little bit and now you're just going to cut off your rolls in about half inch pieces you're going to lay them in the in the baking dish in the warm air and I'm going to let them rise. Now you don't want them to get too big. If they get too big they'll collapse while they're in the oven. So just let them rise almost double. Not quite double and that way you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to cover them up and take them out there. And then we'll cut up the rest of them. Okay, y'all, these are about doubled in size. You can come and look at them. I covered them with plastic wrap. I let them sit outside for a while, and then I came in here and put them on the oven because the oven's warm. They're not real tall, but I don't want them to collapse, so I'm not going to let them get real tall. y'all we're getting out the cinnamon rolls they look delish we're gonna let them cool a little